Uh, good morning. Uh, this is Michael Mo from uh, Cooler Technology. Uh, thank you everybody for joining us today. Um, today we're presenting our lithium-ion battery transportation and storage solution with the US DOT special permits. A quick introduction about Cooler Technology. Uh, we come from a, uh, about a 30 year history in thermal management. Uh, our parts are on the Mars Rover uh, 2020 program. Uh, we're part of the International Space Station to keep the astronauts' laptop safe. And uh, we develop carbon fiber based solutions uh, for lots of aerospace and defense applications. Here are some of the technology that we have uh, to keep lithium ion batteries safe. We have a thermal runaway shield product that is uh, built into the battery pack for thermal runaway to prevent th thermal runaway propagation. Um, then we also have the battery storage and transportation solution. Uh, this is what we're presenting today with the DOT special permit. Uh, we're also the exclusive licensee of the internal short circuit technology, ISC from NASA and NRO. Uh, I know that a couple of folks uh, in the previous sessions have discussed uh, quite extensively about that. Uh, I, I would also talk a little bit about that uh, today as well. So uh, for lithium ion battery recycling, uh, storage and transportation, uh, as we all know, there are a number of risks that are involved, especially on the safety side, uh, presents risk to the employees, to the partners and customers that handle these lithium ion batteries. Uh, on the corporate responsibility side, uh, when some of these incidents happen, uh, it presents a uh, you know pretty bad image for the company. So from an ESG per perspective, uh, we want to mitigate that risk uh, uh, for, for our customers. Um, from the liability and the cost to the companies, some of the damages can range into the millions. Uh, and Cooler is approaching this uh, subject through a circular uh, economy approach. Now, we, we like our components and, and our parts to be uh, recyclable instead of other improper disposal methods. Um, here is an introduction of our lithium ion battery storage solution. Uh, we actually developed that uh, in 2019 together with NASA J JSC for uh, lithium ion batteries of laptop uh, batteries for the astronauts on the International Space Station. Um, it was launched onto the International Space Station in no November 2019. And since then, we've also provided different uh, configurations, but not only for the laptop batteries, but also for uh, Microsoft Surface Pro and other tablets. Um, we have commercialized that product uh, for recycling and uh, prototype batteries. Um, here is a test uh, uh, part of a baseline test for uh, 21,700 cells um, that we're going to put into the, uh, uh, the thermal runaway shield bags. Um, the, as you can see here, there are four 21,700 cells. These are five amp hour 21,700 cells. Um, they're lined up. Um, uh, like this, uh, four together, uh, one and a half millimeter spacing. Uh, the purple ones are the regular cells, and the green one is ISC trigger cell. Uh, we put the cell make, uh, sorry, the cell holder, and then the package together with cardboard box outside. So here's what I would call the baseline test. We heat up one of the ISC cells to 60 degrees C, and trigger one cell, then a pretty quickly propagate to the labor cells. And as you can see here, uh, that uh, all four cells uh, went to thermal runaway pretty quickly. Uh, afterwards, you can see the uh, aftermath of the cells, uh, both the top and bottom vent, uh, and some of the cells even has uh, sidewall rupture on that as well. So these are pretty violent reactions. Um, we take the same cells, we put the same cells into this package. These are 120 cells uh, for up to 2.1 kilowatt hour of uh, uh, this battery pack. Uh, we trigger the two quarter cells and one cell in the middle uh, through uh, using the ISC. And here's our uh, TRS pouch outside. Here's also a solution. Uh, here's one ISC trigger cell get triggered. You see the blue line here. Uh, the temperature went up to about 600 degrees C. 
But then without material, it gets cooled down fairly quickly. Subsequently, two other, I, two other cells are triggered into thermal runaway, the red and the, or, uh, the orange line. Uh, what happens is that uh, even uh, these ISC cells get triggered, there is no propagation to the neighbor cells, and there is no uh, ejecta and fire uh, exiting our enclosure solution. And the outside temperature of the pouch is below 100 degrees Celsius. We see the second cell trigger pretty quickly, and then the third uh, ISC trigger cell. Uh, what you see on the right hand side is the after uh, math. Uh, you see the, the three trigger cells all in black and all the uh, other cells are remaining intact, uh, OCV all, all, uh, all normal. Here's a, here's a second cell. And the third trigger cell. Um, so for this solution, we've received two special permits. Uh, one is a DOT SP21139. That's a special permit for end of life battery recycling. Uh, it, it's approved for lithium iron and metal batteries. Can ship up to 2.1 kilowatt hour energy capacity per package. And it's tested uh, and demonstrated to contain thermal runaway events like, like we just demonstrated. The package is a standard cover box with an inner package that uses the cooler's uh, composite material that, that can contain the potential thermal runaway events. And there's no hazmat training required for shippers employee when you use the solution with a special permit. The hazmat shipping papers are not required and the shipment is eligible for road and rail, transport, rail transportation. The same package, we also received a DOT special permit for prototype batteries, DOT SP21167, and that's tested and demonstrated to contain thermal runaway events. It allows any shipper to transport prototype batteries by cargo aircraft if they follow the special permit requests and packaging. Uh, an alternative for the shippers uh, that do, do apply for approval can take up to six months or more. A uh, cooler with our partner HSC Consulting can provide the streamlined training and certification. And cooler HSC will provide the guidance, the closure instructions, and technical supporting to complete the shipping papers. And it requires only five days advance notice to FAA, which cooler and HSC can complete for the customer. And Cooler will provide, it, pro provide this as a kit for all the needed labels, marks, and et cetera. At, at the same capacity, it will ship up to 2.1 kilowatt hours of energy capacity per package. And it's eligible for cargo, air, ground, and maritime shipment. Uh, here, we introduce more about the internal short circuit. Uh, as some of you have seen uh, in previous uh, pre presentations from NASA, the internal short circuit is a technology that you uh, can reliably trigger uh, cells into a thermal runaway for testing of the thermal runaway event. And uh, Cooler become the exclusive licensee worldwide for that to commercialize in 2018. Uh, now you can um, uh, purchase ISC trigger cells, 18650, 21700 cells, as well as we provide ISC devices to cell makers to embed that into their own cells. Here are some of the competitive advantages of ISC trigger cell versus nail penetration, overheating, and overcharge. It presents the most relevant failure mode. It's the most reliable trigger with the ISC trigger cell. There's no general overheating to the whole system and no cell structure breach by the trigger. And you can customize different locations and that there's no uh, fail or venting prior to the thermal runaway event with the ISC trigger cell. 
Uh, all, uh, in summary, uh, Cooler provides a total solution as one unified reusable package that can ship recycle end of life batteries, prototype batteries, use batteries, and also potentially DDR batteries. That is a, that is a special permit that's pending for approval right now, all the way up to 2.1 kilowatt hours. It's a reusable solution for a closed loop circular economy model. And uh, for anyone who's interested, please contact Greg Provisano at Greg Provisano at coolertechnology.com for more details information. Thank you so much.